All right, finally on today's town hall, let's talk about something that always gets everybody riled up. Daylight saving time. We're supposed to spring forward this Sunday, but there are quite a few efforts at the state and the federal level to get rid of this biannual tradition of switching our clocks. What kind of people do you hang out with? Like <laughs> well, anyway, just yesterday, a bipartisan group of eight U.S. Senators introduced the Sunshine Protection Act of 2021, which would make daylight saving time permanent all year long. So at the state level, Assemblyman Angelo Morinello from Niagara Falls has led the effort to end the time change. He joins us live now. Thanks for being with us tonight. Thank you. Good evening. It's great to see you, Assemblyman. Um, I want to start with a little bit of a of a history lesson and the rules that are at play here. So you sure. have to go all the way back to 1966 when Congress passed the Uniform Time Act. It said that you would spring forward an hour on the last Sunday in April, and then you would fall back an hour the last Sunday in October. Then we all know in 2005, Congress switched that up. They extended the window for daylight saving time. So now we make these changes to our clocks in March and November. So this part is key. Congress gave the states the ability to opt out of daylight saving time. For instance, we all know Arizona doesn't follow it, but states cannot opt out of standard time. So in other words, just do daylight saving time all year round, as some people would like. Federal law doesn't allow that. So what do you think is the answer? Do you as a state lawmaker think you should be lobbying Congress to do daylight saving time all year? Or do you think that New York should just on its own stick with standard time all year? Um, one of the main issues is the switch. Um, so at first it didn't matter to me, but it, we should be on one time. And the more studies I, I did, because I wanted to get into the subject and have some idea of why, rather than just ignoring the background. And what was determined was that standard time is the way that it should go. Now there's still controversy, um, but Arizona and Hawaii are in standard time. You've got many European countries stay on standard time. Uh, Canada and U.S. should be the same. Uh, but the whole bottom line is this. There should be no change. What they did, there's a Swedish study that found on the Monday after the switch to daylight savings time, there was a greater number of heart attacks. There's been other studies that show there's greater plant injuries, work-related injuries, accidents, more depression. So the concept is we need one standard of time. And the studies seem to bore out that standard time is the time we should go. And I want everyone to remember, anybody who really thinks that if you cut the foot off the top of a blanket and sew it on the bottom, the blanket will be longer. It's still the same <laughs> size. Good point. You know, in some states, including um, the West Coast states of Washington, Oregon, and California, they've all passed bills and ballot measures to try to get Congress to make a change. Do you think if enough states did that, that then maybe D.C. would listen? Well, what I've been told is a number of states are doing it. The, every year there's more. I get phone calls, and it's really interesting. I've gotten them from the press in Florida. I've gotten emails from California. I've got something from uh, Canada. I've, get, I've gotten them from the Midwest. And most of them support the concept of we should all be on standard time. If we went to daylight, what you're going to do is you're going to infringe upon Arizona, Hawaii, and the other areas, territories, and, and um, countries that are on standard time. Arizona's never changed, Hawaii's never changed. So my feeling is we should go the same. But if I may, can I, can I just give you a little caveat on how I got onto this? Sure. <laughs> well, my very first year in Albany, on the day, the morning after the change, my friend Joel Daniels called me. And he said, do something about this time change. I don't like it. And that's what got me started to research it. But then when I found the health problems, the accidents, it just seemed more logical that we should go forward with this. Um, further, you mentioned the year that it was the standard time. There's so many theories on how this started, who did it, where was the first, uh, what was the reason. Uh, many people think it was the farmers who did it because they needed more daylight. But from what my uh, research has shown, it really had to do with train and bus timetables. Hmm. And 
they had to stabilize timetables in regions so they could make their schedules. If not, every single state that had a different time, they, they would have to make a different schedule and yeah. then try and coordinate them. And then you got chaos. So th <laughs> I think that's, that, that, to me, that's the most logical. So. Yeah. Well, Assembly Member Angelo Morinello from Niagara Falls will continue to follow. I know you have a bill on this um, in Albany. And uh, don't forget, yes. everybody, to change your clocks on Sunday because for now, that's the law. Thank you, sir, for joining us. And, and check your, your smoke alarms. Oh, and check point. your smoke alarms. Also okay. important. And your. Speaking of time, we're out of it. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Remember to keep texting us your questions and comments to the number you see right there.